In this video, you will learn. What is differential pressure transmitter? How to measure water level in closed tank with a differential pressure transmitter? And how to measure oil level in closed tank with a differential pressure transmitter? First of all, what is differential pressure transmitter? Differential pressure transmitter is a device that measures the difference between two pressures. And it has three manifolds. Two manifolds are equalizing manifolds, and it remains open during normal operation. This is block manifold, and it remains closed during normal operation. How to measure water level in closed tank with differential pressure transmitter? This method of level measurement is also known as wet leg calibration method. And specific gravity of process fluids plays crucial role in calculation of calibration range for DP transmitter. In this example, let's assume that tank is filled with water. And impulse line is also filled with water. As we know that specific gravity of water is 1. So, it does not affect the calibration range. However, if impulse line or tank is filled with another fluid, then we need to multiply specific gravity of process fluids with height of liquid to calculate calibration range. As you can see from the picture that, 0% is minimum level of liquid in a tank, and 100% is maximum level of liquid in a tank. Transmitter position does affect the level measurement in wet leg calibration method. So, if your transmitter is installed below 0% baseline, then you need to measure the distance between transmitter and 0% baseline. In this example, differential pressure transmitter is located at 10 inch below from the 0% baseline, and one end of tube is connected with high port of transmitter and another end is connected with tank. This tube is also filled with water, and it put pressure on high side of transmitter. So, this is reason that transmitter position is very important in closed tank level measurement. In other words, if you do not measure distance accurately from transmitter to 0% baseline, you won't be able to measure level accurately. Now, as you can see from the picture that, wet impulse line is connected with low port of DP transmitter. This impulse line is filled with water. Vertical height of wet impulse line is also very important in closed tank level measurement. So, measure the height of wet impulse line very carefully. In this example, measured height of impulse line is 54 inch. Last but not least, there is 30 inch distance between 0% baseline and 100% level. Now, we are all set for calculation of calibration range for differential pressure transmitter. So, let's go to calculation table. As you can see from the table that, at 0% level, DP transmitter high side has 10 inch H2O pressure, and it multiply with specific gravity of water which is 1. So, input high side has 10 inch H2O pressure at 0% level. Similarly, at 0% level, water in wet impulse line put 54 inch H2O pressure on low port of transmitter, and it multiply with specific gravity of water. So, transmitter low side has 54 inch H2O pressure at 0% level. Now, differential pressure is a subtraction of input high side pressure and input low side pressure. So, 10 minus 54 is equal to 44. Hence, differential pressure is minus 44 inch H2O at 0% level. Now, let's understand the calculation at 100% level. At 100% level, DP transmitter high side has 40 inch H2O pressure, and it multiply with specific gravity of process fluid, which is water in this example. Here, 40 inches total distance from transmitter to 100% line. So, DP transmitter high input side has 40 inch H2O pressure at 100% level. 
Similarly, at 100 percentage level, transmitter low side has 54 inch H2O pressure, and it multiply with specific gravity of water. Which is 1. So, DP transmitter low side has 54 inch H2O pressure at 100 percentage level. Now, differential pressure is difference between input high side pressure and input low side pressure. So, 40 minus 54, is equal to minus 14. At 100 percentage level, differential pressure is minus 14 inch H2O. As you can see from the table that, calibration range is minus 44 inch H2O to minus 14 inch H2O. Note down one thing that you will always get negative range, when you measure level in closed tank with wet impulse line. Here, negative sign indicates that low port of DP transmitter is higher pressure than high port of DP transmitter. In other words, whenever you see negative calibration range, it indicates that DP transmitter low side has higher pressure as compared to high side of DP transmitter. Closed tank with wet impulse line always gives you negative calibration range. Now, you won't be able to set negative calibration range in DP transmitter. So, just set 44 inch H2O as lower range value, and set 14 inch H2O as upper range value in DP transmitter. So, now, whenever you see lower range value is higher than upper range value. It means wet impulse line is connected with low port of DP transmitter. Now, how to measure oil level in closed tank with a DP transmitter? Let's assume that process fluid is crude oil in this example. In other words, tank is filled with crude oil 48 API, and its specific gravity is 0.79. Let's also assume that wet impulse line is filled with glycerin, and its specific gravity is 1.263. And remaining all conditions are same from previous example. In other words, DP transmitter is installed 10 inch below from 0 percentage baseline, and height of wet impulse line is 54 inch. Now, let's go to calculation table. As you can see from the table that, at 0 percentage level, DP transmitter high port has 10 inch H2O pressure, and it multiplied with specific gravity of oil, which is 0 0.79 in this example. 10 multiply with 0.79 gives 7.9. So, transmitter high input side has 7.9 inch H2O pressure at 0 percentage level. Similarly, at 0 percentage level, DP transmitter low side has 54 inch H2O pressure, and it multiplied with specific gravity of glycerin, which is 1.263. And, it gives 68.20. Here, wet impulse line is filled with glycerin, and this is a reason that, we multiply height of wet impulse line with specific gravity of glycerin. So, transmitter low port side has 68.20 inch H2O pressure at 0 percentage level. Now, differential pressure is input high side pressure minus input low side pressure. So, 7.9 minus 68.20 is minus 60.3. And we can say that differential pressure is 60.3 at 0 percentage level. Now, let's understand table for 100 percentage level. At 100 percentage level, DP transmitter input high side has 40 inch H2O pressure, and it multiplied with specific gravity of crude oil, which is 0 0.79. So, it gives 31.6. Here, 40 inches total distance from transmitter to 100 percentage level. So, DP transmitter high side has 31.6 inch H2O pressure at 100 percentage level. Similarly, DP transmitter low port side has 54 inch H2O pressure, and it multiplied with specific gravity of glycerin. And it gives 68.20. So, transmitter low port side has 68.20 inch H2O pressure at 100 percentage level. And differential pressure is minus 36.6 inch H2O at 100 percentage level. 
Here, negative calibration range indicates that, it is close tank level measurement with wet impulse line. Now, set positive 60.3 is lower range value in transmitter. And set positive 36.6 as upper range value in transmitter. In a conclusion, whenever you see lower range value is higher than upper range value. It means it is closed tank level measurement. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you really like this video. If you have any questions regarding this video, please feel free to ask me in comment box. I will give best possible answer to your questions. My next video is about, how to measure level in open tank with differential pressure transmitter. So, please subscribe my channel, and hit bell icon so that you will get notification, when we upload video.